वेलकम बैक टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज टू न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्ट वन इज फ्रॉम टेगराय यस्टरडे वी रिपोर्टेड दैट टेगराय यूथ वॉज बिंग बैंड फ्रॉम लिविंग मकैले टेगराय इज कैपिटल इथियोपियन एयरलाइंस वॉज नॉट अलाउंग टेगराय यूथ टू बोर्ड द फ्लाइट्स दो people had bought tickets in advance who is stopping tigray youth now we have received information uh, about who is stopping tigray youth is it a tigray regional government or ethiopian or federal government what's the reason behind this decision secondly oromia region of ethiopia where now on four fronts intense fighting is ongoing a major operation against ola has been launched almost uh, Four to five days ago, the operation was launched. Now, heavy fighting. Details for you. Where is this ongoing fighting? And uh, oil fighters managed to enter a prison in Bolehora, Bolehora, uh, Western uh, Southern Romania, and they freed some prisoners. Details for you about this ongoing operation and on which fronts uh, fighting is ongoing and which forces are involved: regional, federal, or Eritrean military. Firstly, viewers. Tigray youth is not being allowed to travel from uh, Makale to Addis Ababa. No such restrictions were imposed when flight operations resumed uh, around ten days ago by Ethiopian Airlines. We saw uh, everyone uh, being allowed to travel between Makale and Addis Ababa. Though we discussed in some videos that uh, price of ticket was uh, changing uh, on hourly basis, and no subsidy was being given. Secondly, we discussed that uh, by road travel to Tigray was still banned. It should have been opened before by air travel because uh, if by road travel is allowed, more people can reach a Tigray. But it seems that uh, federal government does not want large number of Tigray youth to enter Addis Ababa. Around two days ago, some restrictions were imposed by Ethiopian Airlines that uh, youth uh, uh, who had bought tickets in advance they. Uh, went to makale airport to board their flights but ethiopian airlines did not allow them to board flights uh, they were returned from airport they kept on waiting for hours at the airport uh, who is in control of security of the airport ethiopian federal police or uh, regional forces because federal police entered uh, makale a few days ago there would be deployment of uh, federal police at the airport now reportedly it's ethiopian airlines ethiopian federal government which is stopping tigray youth from reaching uh, addis ababa only those tigray youth who have bought return tickets makale to addis addis to makale are being allowed to fly from makale secondly those who have permanent proof of residence in addis ababa that they have uh, uh, residence there and they want to travel from makale they are being allowed other youth who don't have any proof of permanent residence in uh, addis ababa or who bought one way ticket are not being allowed to leave tigray because there are fears that large number of tigray youth could try to enter addis ababa youth wants to flee there could be different reasons behind this uh, development uh, youth has suffered a lot we have seen conscription as well in tigray when before the start of third round of fighting tigray authorities uh, uh, recruited uh, youth by force uh, in tigray defense force and there are economic issues there are no jobs available no economic opportunities in tigray so obviously tigray youth would like to leave tigray 
टू गो समवेयर आउटसाइड टेकर आए फॉर बेटर इकोनॉमिक अपॉर्चुनिटीज बड़े इथियोपियन फेडरल गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट अलाउंग टेकर आए यूथ टू लीव मकैले टेकर आए इज कैपिटल दैट इज वाई बाय रोड ट्रैवल इज नॉट अलाउड इफ इट इज अलाउड यू वुड सी दैट थाउजेंड वुड ट्राई टू फ्ली टेकर आई स्पेशली यूथ second level oromo region of ethiopia where uh, a large scale operation against oromo liberation army is underway on four fronts heavy fighting is ongoing government has decided to find a military solution to this conflict uh, uh, ola uh, proposed talks ethiopian government tried to talk through abagadas ola rejected the talks through abagadas while well, they wanted tigray style negotiations in the third country it did not happen so uh, a major operation against oil well is underway on four fronts fighting is ongoing now intense fighting firstly eastern front uh, east shiva fintale bosat uh, in these two towns heavy fighting is being reported uh, secondly uh, northern front uh, silale uh and uh, central front like uh, mitarobi in vashiva thirdly southern front guji burana from where ola fighters fled towards eastern romia but still they have some presence there and uh, ola fighters have shown a video from west guji uh where they freed some prisoners uh, from bolehora bolehora is in west guji and fourthly western oromia valaga main battlefront is this part of oromia in the previous video reported about fighting in kalam valaga where intense fighting ongoing for the last 4 to 5 days and in western valaga as well there is ongoing fighting from bg from gambala from adis ababa from amhara region Uh, from all these directions uh, federal forces ethiopian national defense force are trying to surround ola on these four fronts so coming days are very crucial large scale displacements expected it has started large scale displacements are being seen in western uh, part of oromia and uh, since aid organizations have no access there so we could uh, uh we should be surprised if we come to know that uh, people are in dire need of food aid in these areas close to which fighting is ongoing who is involved in this fighting federal forces obviously regional forces to yes, from oromia and from neighboring regions from bg reportedly benishangal gomas liberation benishangal gomas regional forces are involved they entered uh, western oromia from bg from amhara region amhara forces are on their side of the border amhara oromia border we could not confirm the involvement the participation of other regions forces but uh, it's like uh, we saw before uh, third round of tigray war in august uh, when federal regional forces launched a major operation against oil we are seeing the same that operation was postponed after a few days of fighting because uh, fighting broke out in northern ethiopia now once again federal regional forces have resumed their large scale military operation against romo liberation army on four fronts heavy fighting is ongoing Uh, government forces uh, have sealed off the border they are in border areas uh, bg uh, sudan gambala south sudan border areas they want to ensure they want to prevent uh, infiltration of ola from these uh, western romia areas towards neighboring countries so hard times ahead for romo liberation army can ola managed managed to repel this major offensive that remains to be seen is iranian military involved this war it's not clear but a few days ago at a briefing by uh, ethiopian ministers and officials uh, member of a political party oromo federalist congress raised the question that iranian military was uh, present in bg and oromia 
but no visual confirmation so far. So it, it means that uh, Ethiopian federal government uh, wants to weaken Oromo Liberation Army before the start of talks. Talks could happen, uh, but so far no signs of talks. Uh, government is trying to emulate what it did in Northern Ethiopia. It weakened TPLF, then TPLF made concessions. It uh, agreed to be disarmed at the table in Pretoria and in Kenya. Can the same happen in Romia? That remains to be seen. OLA is fighting back. Can it uh, fight back or uh, will it try to mobilize international community uh, for start of dialogue? That remains to be seen. It will be interesting to see the role of uh, Romia opposition parties, uh, OFC, Jawar, Bekle, Garba Party, Roma Liberation Front, which is uh, political face of OLA, Roma Liberation Army. So, uh, it's a different type of war. War in Romia is a different type of war because OLA members are a part of the community. They are closely uh, knit with the community. It's difficult to single them out and uh, to uh, arrest them, to retain them. They have their network of informers, the people support them. So can they be singled out and uh, eliminated, if it's the right word? That remains to be seen. Uh, but it's not a war which will end in a few days. Because well, the fighters, they don't have tanks, artillery pieces. They, they are armed with small weapons. So they can easily change their locations. That is how they, they keep on surviving. That uh, they are extremely swift. They can change their positions uh, swiftly. So they'll keep on fleeing from their hideouts and then they'll uh, return. Uh, that is what has been happening for years. Let's see. This time, federal government... Uh, uh, seems to be confident it can eliminate OLA. Let's see. Thank you for watching. Injifano Kawaran Bilsuma Romo, Injifano Kamoto Romo, Manasiresa Godina Pujilita, Akanat 